The aim of the Hamilton Public School Board's new dress code is to be more inclusive. We want all of our students to feel seen and supported for who they are, where they are, um, and how they need to be supported. And that they can dress those bodies the way that they feel uh, best expresses who they are. Student this trustees Aisha Mahmoud and Dima Abdel Hafiz brought the motion to change the dress code forward. Uh, there's a double standard within its implementation and how one group of students is targeted with this dress code and one group of students is kind of let off the hook. This dress code could lead to an impact in, in students' education and just that this dress code is used in the sense of victim blaming. Being female students, we're aware of the issues that our dress code and how it's kind of enforced, but to see a group of students come together and speak out about it, it was kind of like, okay, finally. She's talking about the more than 200 students who protested outside their school last week. The protest was sparked by an announcement from the principal of Waterdown High School. It was a reminder to keep shoulders and stomachs covered in accordance with the school's policy. But it came just two days after police announced they were investigating reports of sexual assault and harassment at the school. I definitely felt targeted after the announcement that the principal made originally uh, towards the girls. I was kind of confused. I didn't know if they were blaming us or if they were just telling us to cover up because it was poorly timed. It was very poorly timed. I think it was really wrong. The reality is, is that the students felt uh, that they there was an insinuation there of victim blaming, um, that there was, you know, under responsibility put on the students um, to manage those scenarios. Um, and ultimately, we, we wanted to recognize that. Waterdown's principal ended up apologizing. On Sunday, another school expressed regret, this time for a conversation about dress that they say treated male and female students differently while alienating those with non-binary identities. The principal of Dundas Central Elementary says, we also apologize for implying that the way girls dress could be a factor in unwanted male attention. The Toronto District School Board recently acknowledged some dress codes are sexist and triggering to students who are non-binary and often even racist because certain clothes are approved and others are not. So the Hamilton board is following their lead and will make similar changes. So the Toronto board uh, dress policy has a stipulation around, you know, the groin area, the buttocks and the nipples have to be covered with opaque material. We're not uh, discriminating against one group over another group. There's no value assigned there. We're just acknowledging that people have bodies. <laughs> the interim dress code guidelines come into effect tonight and staff are working on finalizing them in the coming weeks. Sylvie Lenve, CHCH News.